Our today's topic is about the mass extinction and biodiversity loss and in which we will be discussing that what are the different topics that we are going to cover in series of the next lectures. So what are the mass extinction? Mass extinction are the processes in which large number of species are becoming extinct in a series of events and those events may be some climate change or some other factors which are involved with the survival of a species. So during mass extinction 20 to 90 percent of species were wiped out during the earth's geological period and these include a broad range of organism and events that appear to have happened rapidly. The large number of species were wiped out of the surface of the earth in very small time frame and this was called mass extinction and we will be discussing about these mass extinction and how uh, there are the different periods in which these mass extinctions were happening and how much these mass extinctions will uh, were there we will be discussing about that and why it is important to study the mass extinction it tells us that how the different changes on the surface of earth may wipe out the whole lot of species and ecological systems out of the surface of the earth. It is difficult to study the mass extinction in the Precambrian period. Precambrian are very very ancient times in which there were uh, there is very less fossil record has been survived and we cannot see much of evidence in the Precambrian period. It is difficult but still we know that there was some mass extinctions there as well. And there have been uh, some uh, events of extinction in the new Proterozoic between the Edicarian and early Cambrian faunas. So these were also the periods in which the uh, huge glaciation of earth. That means there was a period with, when the earth was uh, developing into an ice globe. And in that there was a lot of species loss as well. And we know uh, uh, about that era and we are also discussing about that. So, but the most important in the geological history are the Phanerozoic mass extinction. There were big five Phanerozoic mass extinction occur in the end Ordovician, late Devonian, end Permian, and tri Triassic and end Cretaceous periods. These were the five extinction events that have been occurred in our uh, geological history and we will be discussing about that. The end Permian mass extinction was the largest of all time. This was the extinction which was uh, which wiped out whole 90 percent of the biodiversity in some areas of the world and it have probably uh, it was caused by the massive volcanic eruptions and which led to the acid raining and global anoxia wherever the word an comes that means absence and oxia me uh, coming from the oxygen so anoxia is absence of oxygen so wherever there is absence of oxygen the organism which are relying on the availability of oxygen they will go extinct so that's probably happened and we know that organism died in huge amounts with the help of the fossils that we can see in those era. And then there is end Cretaceous mass extinction that has been more studies. It is called KT boundary in the uh, fossil terms and it was probably caused by a major impact on the earth. The smaller scale extinction even includes the loss of mammal at the uh, Pleistocene. Pleistocene is uh, from the two and a half million years ago to the 11,000 years ago which are also called the ice ages. And this uh, in, during this period a lot of climate change happened and the humans were also responsible for wiping out some species by hunting just like woolly mammoth. So how does the uh, uh, our ecosystem recover or how does our biodiversity uh, recover from the mass extinction we'll be discussing about that. It takes a long time first. Um, 
some unusual uh, disaster taxa will cope well in the harsh conditions. Uh, there are some taxa which are adaptable to the very rapid change that has happened. And later, this will give uh, way to the longer lived taxa that rebuild normal ecosystem. So it will be, you know, uh, coming, there will be some taxa, there will be some groups of living organism which will develop later, later and it will change the ecosystem back to the normal. And what are the different concerns uh, we will be discussing about that? Uh, if there is uh, an extinction event is happening, we can how calculate uh, the uh, the calculate species loss as high as during any mass extinction of the past. Today we are facing an extinction era of our own making. The humans are responsible for uh, hunting and uh, they are responsible for the species loss at very large amounts. So, in it is calculated the species number is as large as the extinction of the past event. So, this is a major concern of today. And the severity of the current extinction episode is still debated. And this is not something that all the people agree on. And a lot of people are in denial and they are not, you know, taking measures to... Uh, save the biodiversity on the earth. So in a whole, these are the topics that we will be covering in our uh, next series of lectures.